Do you lose as gracefully as you win? I wouldn't know. I've never lost. You're one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. Thank you. But I think my mouth is too big. No, it's the right size. For me, that is. And welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. And today you find us in sunny Suffolk. Suffolk. It's beautiful. It's a bit nippy actually. Bit nippy. Sun's yeah. Down. yeah, I've got shorts on and a little t-shirt and I'm absolutely freezing, or I will be in a bit. So yeah, today we are at a million pound, multi-million pound mansion. Multi. A multi-multi-million pound mansion. Now this place is amazing i am going to tell you a little bit more history about it in a bit but we're a bit exposed here at the moment walking straight up the drive to the place surrounded by like houses and stuff not that you can see any houses really but yeah so we're just going to get in get out of the way and see if we can uh, show you this amazing place which i don't think anyone else has put on youtube yet don't think so do you i haven't seen it well, we'll get in first. Yeah, that's it. So we've just bumped into uh, the local security who is in this white van here. Um, I'm guessing he lives in this little house. So we've sort of pretended we are just walkers because obviously we look a little bit like a gay couple. And uh, we, we're now heading off down in this direction, away from where we need to be. But we will make our way back round, don't you worry. Right. So we sneaked around the back now, coming at it a different way altogether. What an amazing place this is. You just want to get up there, don't you? I can see you're worried. Yeah. I can hear the guy that we've just been speaking to's car door banging. So he's still knocking about. But yeah, just look. The garden's a brill. The sun's just on its way down. Checking out the cameras. Yeah, I can't see him. Oh, it's like a spiral staircase up at the top. Right, so here you look. Now, we did have a tip off about this place from another explorer who doesn't make videos, he just takes photos. And I know this is a bit bouncy, but I'm having to not look at my feet as I'm walking. This is crazy, look at this place. Now I actually can't see any cameras at the moment. So we've, we've risked coming to the front and there's a cannon there and straight inside there's lights on. All right guys, look at this. Russian gun in front of this stone was taken from the Redan battery, Baltic. So the Baltic Black Sea War with Russia, 1854 to 1855. Quite apt really for uh, the way we're going, yeah. Right, we just need to hurry up and just try every door we can to get in. We need to be quick. Right guys, we're in. And look what we found straight away. Massive swimming pool. Can you imagine this? In the middle of summer, it'd have been amazing. You can, I can tell you're nervous. I'm not just out of breath, me. Right, and then in here, look at it in here, this is unbelievable, that's crazy. 
crazy. It's going to be another nervy one, this, isn't it? Very nervy one. Not very uh, much banter and lots of amazing things. And a Mona Lisa on the wall, on the window. So we've just come out of, oops, we've just come out of there. And we've come straight into this. Prince Charles on the wall. Lovely seating area. Looking out across the gardens, look over here. What a view. Can you believe this, Andy? I, I feel like I've just walked into somewhere where people should be now. Oh, it's, just mad. it's almost like out of a film. Crazy. Right, so, first of all, pretty sure not many people have been in here. Otherwise, I think all this lot would have been smashed up. You don't get the chance to come somewhere like this very often. This is mental. It's just one of those places that you sort of, you think about doing as an urbex, say you're like, or urban explorer, or whatever you want to call it. It's one of those places that you sort of dream of finding. Oh my God. I'm just, it's not very often. Just in awe and speechless. Yeah. It's not very often I'm speechless, but this is crazy. I feel shaky because of what we've got. This is unbelievable. I'm so sorry that I just keep saying this is unbelievable, this is crazy, this is amazing. But in it though, let's be honest, in it. Now this place has been used as a hotel. What are you saying? <laughs> it's blown you away. This place has been used as a hotel and a spa. But the main thing, the thing that really, and I, right, you'll understand what I'm saying in a minute. I've never watched these films, but just to be here where one of these films has been made, it is the location for a Sean Connery, James Bond film. Don't say which one, because people will probably work out which one it is, where we are. I remember which one it is. But yeah. Uh, I'm a big James Bond fan. Yeah, and I'm, I don't watch James Bond, but it's iconic, isn't it? Yeah. James Bond films are iconic. So, I, I feel we're missing off. Oh my God. He obviously was a, a big royal family buff. I'm just filming back your head. I want to go back through the rooms that we've just come through because I feel like I'm not doing it justice. Look at the ceiling. Look at the chandelier. This is beyond belief. I don't know what any of these are. Big, oh look. Now I know the owner of this place isn't English. So I'm presuming that's why we've got the book. Back through, look at, look at these doors, just the doors. I could sit and I could look at these and talk about them all day long. It's like Chinese. It does look oriental, oh, doesn't it? It does look oriental, but I think it might be faux oriental because you've got all your fruit and fruit baskets and stuff. They did go through a phase um, within the UK of having all the stuff from the Orient. So maybe that's the reason why. But look at these. Is it a chaise, chaise lounge, that? No. What's the difference? I know there is a difference. With no end. Yeah. So what's that? Uh, that's not a settee. Settees come from that's a settee. DFS. Uh, but yeah, look at these handles. The, 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 no, oh, I can't even speak anymore. The ornate handles and things like that. He's crazy. Look at that. That's like a moose. That's a moose's antler, that one. And I keep finding lots of interesting little books and little things knocking about in cupboards. But look at this. That, that must have cost a fortune to paint. Loyalist, eh? Yeah, definitely. Sort of, I don't think it is a painting that, you know. No, it's just a print. 
I know, they were in there as well, it was the same. It's really ornate. On that chandelier. And then, it's not a grand piano, that one, is it? It's a, isn't it a mini grand or a... Baby grand. Baby grand, that's what I'm looking for. But once again, just looking outside. It's hard to see with the sun, but look at that, that's beautiful. Now we've got a massive grand dining room. That's a, that's King, King George. King George. King George, yeah, I thought it was. And then we've got the Queen. There, look. Wow. Once again, done in that same sort of style. It is a, like a print. It's, it's odd how it's painted. If it's painted or just, it's sort of like it is painted, but it isn't. Yeah, it's strange. It's like Gickley. If anybody knows what Gickley is, that's what it reminds me of. It's starting to get out. Now we have just heard what sounded like a car door banging. But I can't hear anything or see anyone. Not get the big torch out yet. Just use the little one. Oh, Buckingham Palace. He really had an obsession with the royal family, hadn't he? Funny little room. That's the Quran, not the Quran, um, what's he called that? Mecca. It's Mecca, that, isn't it? What an odd combination. The royal family and... Well, he wasn't, like, Indian or something like on this. He, he was, wasn't he? Was he, in, he was Indian, I think. Was he Indian? I got Chinese in my head, but I think he was Indian. Right. A big sparkly elephant as well. It's crazy. It's like two cultures meeting, isn't it? It's really strange. I think straight up the corridor. Oh, look at that tusk. Oh my God. No, I didn't expect that. That's like, oh, what were they called? Um, like the Mongol horde, isn't it? And then a big, Tusk. Right, I've got to be really careful here because I'm right at the front of the building. That's the front door around there. Just needed to show you this. Look at that chandelier. Absolutely crazy. Like you see, just outside there. Look at this for a grand entrance though and look at the red carpet. I've got to be really careful. I'm guessing he was hoping at some point, the royal family would visit this place because he's prepared it in such a way. Look at it though. Just need to show you back down. Look at that. I think this is the most, this is the grandest place we've ever been in by far. Definitely, isn't you? Nervy, nervy, nervy. I'm really nervy. Look at this in here. Andy's quite concerned. We got caught the first time, just there, literally just there. So now, make our way back and have a look at a different place. Yeah, we've got but, tea and coffee making facilities. Yeah. We've got the tea and the sugar. I don't know how long this place has been left empty. I know it's a while. But it's like it's ready to go, ready to... I, and I, you don't it's understand how tempted I am to get in that bed. But I'm not going to. I'm not going in with me, you dirty perv. <laughs> yeah, just just think Sean Connery's been wandering around in here. Don't you think that's a bit odd? Oh, look, he's concentrating on something. Can't yeah. speak to me, then. Look at ladders outside. Ladders? Oh, yeah, I saw, in the middle of the building. Yeah. We walked around that side a minute ago. Really? Yeah, we've walked around in a big circle because I looked out and saw those ladders a minute ago. Well, we're not, at least we're not overlooked here. Although I can't get out of these curtains. So that's above where we first went in, yeah. I want to get up there. Up there. So, what? Going up the stairs. Oh, there's some stairs here. Right, so we'll head up. 
head up these stairs and I'll show you where we're going. We've been over there. What is this? Oh, it's like a presentation case. I don't know what they would have had in here. Two of them, look. And he's saying, come here. Oh, look what we found. Treatment rooms. Have your mask. You know what? I really could do with one as well after last week. Last week. Yeah. Look at the jacuzzi bath. They're worth a fortune. Absolute fortune. It's two man. What are you saying? It's two man. You're saying heat. The water's on. The power's on. Let's do it. Sounds like something a little Yeah. So you walk out of what seems to be the treatment room straight into a big. Master bedrooms. It's huge. Starts all the way over there. You could literally fit another bed in here, maybe two. It's crazily big. And then look, you've got little spa slippers and everything in there. Fireplace. It'd be lovely and cozy in here. I've, I've got to do it. I'm, I'm not getting in here. I'm just. Oh, they feel nice. They're firm. I like a good firm bed. Bed, nothing else. Right, I've gone all a bit nerdy now, even though I don't even like James Bond. That's 009. That's 008, where Andy's just gone in. So there's got to be a 007 somewhere. I'm on the hunt for 007. Oh, look at this little domed bit. Oh, that's brilliant. The display bit's rounded. Where is 007? That's 005. 006. I, I've got to find him. 004. 003. There's no 007. I'm confused. 007. Shake him like a dad. <laughs> oh, this shit show I'm coming. <laughs> Your accents are. Oh my god. This is like my 007. Then. Oh my god. They definitely did that on purpose though, didn't they, with the numbers? Yeah. 100%. What are you saying? Take a photo of the screen if you can. Oh, just hold this. I need to show you outside before I take a photo. All right, that's better. Look at that view. That is unbelievable. Yeah, the mist off in the dif distance, like Andy was saying. Down to outside. Absolutely crazy and absolutely beautiful. I still can't get over it in here. It's absolutely unbelievable with those massive mirrors. The bed's not massive, we've just been saying that. It's shit really for, for a, a huge, such a huge room, you would expect it a bit bigger, but to be fair, that kind of makes up for it. Just try that that you just banged into there. What? That light switch. It's, it just took me. Aye, when it was swinging up and down. No way. Oh my God. Look at this. I can't even, that's that, so bright. I can't even show it. That is crazy. Spotless as well. I just wonder how, how much it was to stay in this room. You, you're talking a lot of money, aren't you? Decent amount. It's not every forty nine pound travel lodge, is it? Very true. What was that noise there? My phone. Oh, is it? This one, I think, is almost better than Double oh. Seven Room. You're going to be taking a piss. Aren't no, you? I'm not. Right, look. <laughs> I'm not taking the piss at all. What the fuck? I like the roll top baths. Yeah, I love roll top baths. Anyway, you can get loads of water in them. That's why I like them. You need loads of water to cover you, you blubber. <laughs> Horrible get. And then, what was that? A chicken dance. Oh no, a pigeon dance. And then big four poster bed. Once again, it's not, I don't know, is it slightly wider that one? 
because it's still quite small. But look, this is what we're saying. I think this is the issues they've had. Damp. Nothing's ever damp in my bloody bedroom, not even my missus. <laughs> there's something wrong with you. Well, maybe there's something wrong with her, I don't know. Yeah. If this can't turn you on, nothing can. It's for a wardrobe. Oh, is this the bathroom? <laughs> well, now this is, this is the bathroom. That's the shower room. It's all right, innit? You're having a bath. Room service. I'd say. Six, I'd say, go away. Seriously, I would love it. I'd love it to be able to lay in the bath, having a chat with the missus, and um, sort of chilling out a little bit. Spot's a good idea. I like it. It's an hotel, isn't it? It's not like you're at home. Although I like it at home as well. I like how they've changed it from three to double three. three. It is, it's definitely the theme, isn't it? Hundred percent. Yeah, although this place is absolutely amazing. Look at beautiful beds, really ornate, faux period features. But then I'd be a bit annoyed if I got that telly. I really would. Look, imagine being in bed over here. Look how small that is for this room. It's tiny. Anyway, I'm gonna find out where he is. Catch up with him. I just said I'll leave in the room. I just noticed this. What is it? In case of emergency smash glass. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What's that all about? Not doing. But people could easily pinch your stuff. Come with a screwdriver. Yeah. Have it away. I suppose it's a good idea in one way, but you should hide it and not put it behind perspex. Okay. Yeah, look. It must cost a fortune to maintain these places, though, this size. It's huge. As you can see, look, sun's down pretty much outside. It's starting to go dark. Sun's out. Guns out. What so, the hell's happened here? Did he fly massacre? Oh, God, yeah. It's like an Eccles cake exploded. With some ladybirds. There's got to be a way in somewhere, aren't there? There's got to be a window open or something. Feels cold here, you know. That's it, that's probably it then. Knock another tiny telly. Like that fireplace there. Look at that though, that's inviting. You could definitely get up to some rumpy pumpy on that. 100%. Right, so I've just spent ages looking in rooms, trying to find the way to the top of the tower. And I think I've just found it out of this window. So I'm going to do a bit of a James Bond and get out. I'm not gonna film climbing through this window because I need to concentrate on not falling through that. Right, so I'm out through the window. I'm gonna off up the ladder. And he's not coming. He's a little bit scared anyway about getting caught. And you know he's not keen on heights. So we'll try up here. That is still light enough to see, so I've not even brought the torch with me at all. I've got to be quite quiet as well, because, because I'm so high up, I will be heard across the valley. Wow. Already I'm seeing amazing views, but I'm not showing you yet. You can wait until I've got them in a better place. Now where's the best place to go from here? Right, I'm actually... I need to try and stay quite low because I'm in the highest part of the whole area. And if anybody's looking up here, they're gonna see me. And this ladder I'm on is made out of wood from the ark. Jesus Christ. Come back to you in a minute. And I've just found this little area here in the roof space. Now you know I love roof spaces, but I'm gonna hold back and not go in yet because I wanna show you where we are properly before the light goes all together. Wow, this is amazing. Now I can hear a car or a van just down below me down there. So I need to be really careful. There's a tower, well, sort of like a tower. Now he's slowed down. 
just need to get down a minute. Don't know if he's going. Just got to be really careful because if I get caught up here, I'm in big trouble. I'm going to head over to the sort of strange towery thing in a minute, which I will show you in a sec. Right, look at this, guys. Seriously. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I am going to try and get to the top of there, but you can't see. But behind that big tree, the biggest tree, that van has just parked up round about there. He's just beeped his horn and he's parked. So I wonder if he, there's somebody in that other little building that we saw earlier. So I'm going to quickly make my way over to those stairs top of there but I've got to be quick right so I've made myself made my way down I'm out of breath jumping over things crazy place this absolutely unbelievable let me show you I'm gonna try and get to the top of there I don't know whether to wait for that man to go or just do it that's where I've come from over that direction look Right, so I'm directly above the area where we came in. That guy is still over there where that white light is. And I've got to get up onto there without being spotted. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. I am covered by these sort of really cool chimney pots at the moment and the roof. Do I just make a dash for it and hope he's not coming? Let's do it. Let's get across here quickly. Look, that's the big swimming pool and conservatory. Out across the countryside towards a big city in that direction. Imagine that being your back garden. So let's get up these stairs quickly, very quickly. I'm going to take you with me, in fact. I was going to turn you off, but I'm very good at turning people on. Not very good at turning people off. So let's get up here. That was the cheesiest thing I think I've ever said. Oh, it's a bit tight. I've got to stay low again. some sort of post. Oh, I wish I'd got the finder's beeper's flag with me. There we go. Hopefully he won't see me. There we go, we're at the top. See all the way around. I'm being really quiet because I've got to be. You can see where I've made my way. I started off on the other side of those chimney pots over the top over these roofs down here and up inside and now I've got to make sure he's not coming I want to get back down here again right guys there's a car and a van just turned up I'm making my way back through the window that came in although I think Andy shut me in oh god right just quickly wanted to show you this before we went massive pool table we're in a bit now that we've not been in before. Little tiny dog bed. Let's follow this corridor up. I think we'll find us way out. It's got to be really quick. There's the cannon. So it is this way. There's a lift there. But it's me. Oh Jesus Christ. Looks funny. Yeah. I've got to be careful. I'm going to turn you off a minute. Right, I 
you can see now, pitch black. So this is, this is the room that we came through originally. The one with all the tables and the ivy. And I know you can't see a great deal or anything at all. But unless you want us to get caught, we've got to do this. This room pool, just there. What we're saying, just making a quick run for it. We've got no other choice, I think. Right, go. Uh, uh, I'm snorting coke. <laughs> 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 That's a great way to finish a video. <laughs> we haven't been doing that, by the way. No. Don't do drugs, kids. Um, right, stop moving, because like the whole thing's moving up and down. Shut up, get on with it. You up. Anyway, we managed to get out without getting caught again. Dubious, were it? Yeah, it were. So basically, when I was up on the roof, Andy was looking out the windows and he could see uh, two cars, well, a van and a car. Van and a car. Whizzing about. I've never seen it on YouTube. Never. So, and I'm hoping it stays quiet. Sorry, I really apologise. I know you probably want to go, other explorers that's watching this. But I'm not telling you where it is on this occasion. Not I, telling nobody. So. It is too good to let... Because that, that's it, it. Just you just get good. one knobhead that goes and smashes it up or steals stuff, the money's so worth So much it. stuff in there, it's unreal. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell that, but people need to see these places. Yeah. So I'm happy that's to show you, for. exactly, I'm happy to show you, but I ain't telling you where it is, so don't even ask, because it's not happening. Even our best of friends, we won't tell where yeah. this is. Nobody. So, sorry. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Just to, I can't remember what I um, mentioned to you earlier on, but basically a James Bond film was filmed there. I don't know if it was, the, is it the 70s, Sean Connery? Or... I think it were the 70s, yeah. the film. 70s. But not even um, a Soviet film. No, well, other than it's James Bond. But it, was James, it was a James Bond film, that's yeah. it. I, to be fair, I wouldn't even know anyway. But... Um, so there was the James Bond film in there. It was valued or purchased for 23... Now, you think 26, I think 23. So 26 or 23 million. And I think at 2015, and it went no. up for sale at 2017. Oh, you mean resale? Resale. Yeah, it was purchased in about 2006, originally. Then the guy ran out of money. and in, I'm sure he was an Indian guy. Ran out of money. And then... Um, in, I got 2016 in my head that it went back up for sale and it's been like that ever since. Not sure. I thought he bought it in 2015 for 20 something. No, years. no, that's not right. No, no. That's not no, right. No. That's definitely not right. You're wrong. And you know what? After, don't look it up now. <laughs> I'll, we'll finish doing this and if, I, once we get off camera, if I come back on again and say I'm sorry to you, Andy, then you're right. But if I don't, you know that he's wrong. So, I hope you enjoyed it in there as much as we did anyway. Beautiful place. Wonderful. I felt like putting my slippers on. I know. I literally could have laid down. It was a bit strange that he smelt of food as we left, though. I know. That was weird. But, like, two a van and a car, like I was explaining earlier, turned up. They got the torch set. I had a bit of a chat. And then I don't know what happened after that because we were panicking and getting out there as quickly as we could. Out, didn't we? Yeah. So I always want to try and film these people, but then you just like you. Do I, you film it? I know, and then get caught, or do you just leg it? And we just legged it. We just legged it. I was on the roof. I was scrambling across tiles and all sorts. So to find him, I thought you disappeared when I came back, and you were just hidden in the corner, and just came out I was like a out vampire. The front, front window. Anyway, keeping an eye on the main entrance. And then usually, up usually back just in the back entrance. Yeah, exactly. Right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, just trying to think. So there is a video next weekend, and then the one after that will be in Estonia. So we will see. I'm you. leaving on a jet plane. You always have to do it, don't you? I don't know when I'll be back again. Also, tomorrow we're going to be on the BBC. Radio. Yeah, still. Don't still say. BBC. BBC Radio Sheffield. So, 
if you can go back in time from Sunday till tomorrow, which is Tuesday, then you can listen to us. Anyway, we've been rambling for five minutes. Don't really care. I do. People like to look at us, celebrities. Celebrity? We're not celebrities because we've been on the radio. We've not even been on it yet. Might get the We're celebrities. I don't care less what these lots are. We're celebrities. In my eyes, we're all winners. You're a winner. I'm a loser. Chicken, chicken dinner. I'm a loser. You're always a winner in my eyes. What about in your ass? No, that, I'm not saying that. I'll cut that bit out. You're a champion in my ass. Ugh. Right. Au revoir. See you soon, peoples. Bye-bye. I know I said I wasn't going to come back if I was right. I was just going to leave it at that, but I had to rub it in. Yeah, I was right. You were wrong. Close. Oh, you weren't close at all. Uh, just one last thing that I remembered I needed to do. Um, it's one of our good friends and subscribers children's birthday so it's just a quick shout for them it was Dougie and Shayla Dougie and Shayla and they are 10 I think happy birthday happy birthday to the both of you and you have a nice day goodbye be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates